So my name is Ernest Ortega. It's E-R-N-E-S-T, Ortega, O-R-T-E-G-A. Um, I'm a production expediter on the B-52, and I'm from 2nd AMXS 96 AMU. So I'm tech Technical Sergeant Ernest Ortega. I'm a B-52 expediter. Um, so basically what my job entails is to make sure I'm managing everybody on the line from crew chiefs down all to my specialist section, uh, to my maintenance section, and making sure we're taking care of our aircraft uh, before and after aircrew flies them. Uh, we got to get them to turn around and get them ready for all our missions that come up um, for everything we need to do out here. So, so far this has actually been one of our more successful uh, deployments uh, just for the sheer amount that we've been flying and the amount of people and the amount of jets we've brought. Uh, we've actually had some good turnaround. We've hit every one of our sorties plus an extra one here or there. And uh, it's been it's been a good been a good uh, deployment so far as far as breaks. We haven't been breaking as bad as we thought we would. This is an old jet. It flies a lot, yeah, but it breaks even harder. Uh, so we've been able to turn it around quick. We had some, as minimal break time as we can. So I think our success is definitely a mix of everything. There, um, our maintainers are on the ground working together. Uh, usually when we go TDY, this is when our guys get the first-hand experience of working somebody else's job just because we're all together and we're so tight-knit. So our guys are actually real in sync with each other. We have other shops. We have crew chiefs helping hydro, hydro helping jets, and we're just that, that sync is coming in. And the aircraft are actually cooperating with us. Um, they're not breaking. We're not seeing as many breaks as we do back home. Uh, air crew is taking a real good job of, the, of taking care of the jets while they use them. And when it comes down, our guys are just able to turn them That's definitely it. Um, I tell these guys all the time, especially my newer guys, like, hey, you're going to see everybody you work with more than your actual family. You're going to go deploy with them for one month up to six months, depending on where we're at. And uh, when, when we're out here, this is all we have is each other. We see each other for 12 hours a day and plus how many hours off shift. So this is definitely a family atmosphere. We get everybody out here. You're not just working your job. You're not just going to be out there just doing something while somebody else is just hanging out, not doing anything. We're going to actually work together as a team. Because once I, once we get all these jets ready to go, you know we get to relax and enjoy our time. So maintenance as a whole, we're the we're the ground ops. We're the ones that get our jet fixed and ready to go, ready to go hit the next sortie that whatever uh, big Air Force has us doing. Um, when it comes out here, when we're doing uh, deployment ops, where it's it's real adamant that we're we're quick on our job, that we do our job efficiently and safely, and provide a product to air crew. Or they're going to want to take the jet and be able to go downrange and do what they need to do. Uh, definitely not. I've been uh, I've been lucky to be TDY by myself with this jet as a flying crew chief, and to do something like this and uh, the atmosphere that we're in, definitely without maintenance as a whole, we need we need maintenance on the ground. Um, it's it's definitely what's what's contributed to our success rate so far. Oh, I love what I do. I definitely take pride in it. Um, like I said, I used to be a crew chief before I got into the production role, and that's where you kind of learn to take pride in your jet. We're actually standing next to my old jet, so that's how much pride we have. Um, I've been in this squadron for nine years, so to bring our jets down here and to do big things like this, I definitely take pride in it. Now I take pride in the work that my guys do uh, for me, and then taking care of them is where I take my pride in. So it's 12 hours from, from the ground running. That's what we do. We come out definitely on day shift. We're out here launching jets. We're taking care of any write-ups that our night shift wasn't able to take care of. Um, out here in Spain, we have some quiet hours. So when we have to do engine runs and everything, that's where our guys take over. Uh, we're out here 12 hours a day from both for both shifts, day shift, night shift, so 24-hour ops. Um, anywhere from in the sun that we have now to when it was raining the other day, we're out here, we're out here turning wrenches. Yes, sir, 24-7, 365, uh, no matter the day. This could be a second Monday for us, or it could be Sunday. We don't know. We lose track of the days every now and then, but whatever the mission needs, we're out here. If this jet's got to fly, we got to make sure it's safe and ready to go. So next we're here is finish out this, uh, this deployment strong, um, get these birds back home, 
get back home, have a little R&R, &R, and get ready for whatever we have uh, down the road. we got a couple exercises coming up, and I believe we have another BTF coming around the corner. So getting our guys spun up, get back home, train the guys that they learned here. They learned some good maintenance practices. Let's go back home and take that there.